Hello everyone and welcome to Ogispot. In this episode we're gonna have a look over one pretty interesting reward, which is not ladder only and it's also pretty cheap, you can say, with the highest room required being Um. So the rune ward in mind is called Present Moon and it's also quite powerful, especially for the runes investments. Uh, you require three runes and then being Sha'el, Um and Tyr. And this run ward can be made in three different weapon classes and then being sword, axe or polearm weapon. So in this current situation what I got here is this uh, three open socket uh, face blade which I'm gonna turn into the present moon run ward. So I'm gonna do as follow. I'm gonna put my Shael rune first, my um rune after that and my tier rune this is gonna be the last one. So here you can see it uh, turned out to the present moon run word and now let's discuss the options which it gives. So the level requirement is uh, 54 and the damage uh, didn't went up that significantly simply because the base uh, which I chose uh, is not that uh, high on the physical damage side but there is another reason I chose that so we're gonna talk about that as well. Now let's start up with the very first option, and this is the 10% chance to cast level 17 Chain Lightning on Striking. So this is a pretty high amount, I would say, especially if you combine that with very high attack speeds. Now the level 17 Chain Lightning on its own doesn't uh, really do that much damage, but uh, of course you can couple that with uh, many other abilities and everything stacks at the end, so a little bit of damage here, a little bit of damage there, and it all builds up uh, eventually. So the next uh, option which uh, we're going to discuss is the 7% chance to cast level 13 stacking field on striking. Now this is the option which uh, in my opinion makes this uh, run world uh, quite powerful. So the level 13 static field is uh, quite a large radius, uh, being that high level, and the static field itself is extremely powerful skill of the sorcerers. This is a lightning skill, which uh, essentially burns 25% of the current HP from the enemies, so you can imagine proccing that in a fight versus uh, large uh, amounts of enemies, you can burn them down pretty effectively and very quickly. So this is a really powerful option to have and uh, I don't think there are many other items apart from the Storm Lash uh, which also have similar effect uh, which uh, grant you this uh, option. So let's go ahead and discuss the third one. So here we have 20% chance to increase, uh, sorry, 20% increased attack speed. Now this in its own it's uh, also a pretty valuable option, especially for melee characters. Uh, the more attack speed you have, the more damage you're gonna deal, so this is a very powerful option as well. Being 20% is not that high, but still it helps, especially couple that with the base which we use to make it. The face blade on its own is a very fast uh, attacking sword, because it's quite light, uh, it also requires a main stat dexterity instead of strength. So, as you can see, the other benefit of uh, me choosing the face blade is that it also lacks durability on this uh, specific weapon. And if I were to make it a different type of sword, I could potentially extract uh, way more physical damage output, but that's not what I'm targeting with uh, this front board. So, if you are to make it with a high base uh, damage weapons, being them swords, full arms, or axes, you can extract a much higher damage on the weapon, but uh, in this uh, current situation I prefer the face blade for the attack speed and the lack of durability, so this uh, weapon doesn't gonna break. The next uh, option which we're gonna talk about is gonna be the 189% enhanced damage, so unfortunately my one rolled pretty close to the lower amount, and this can roll between 180 and up to 220% on the enhanced damage. So there isn't much of a margin uh, after all, but still, you would prefer it to be as high as possible, even maximum. So the next option is gonna be Ignore Target's Defense. This is uh, also a pretty powerful option, but uh, take a note that it only works on white type of monsters, it doesn't work on end bosses and etc. So it's uh, pretty effective of clearing those uh, large amounts of trash mobs surrounding the main target which you're trying to kill. 
So, very powerful option on its own. And now the next interesting thing is gonna be the minus 35% to enemy lightning resistance. Now, if you combine this uh, specific run ward with certain builds, uh, it can turn into something very powerful. And we're gonna discuss that uh, in a minute. And let's continue to the next one. This is gonna be 25% chance of open wounds. So, again, pretty effective option. This one helps uh, with the end boss uh, kills. 25% is a significant amount, so one in probably every four hits you're gonna proc it, and this is pretty effective in draining the HP amount of the end bosses or high HP targets in general. So, very good option after all. Now, after that we have uh, 10 Magic Absorb, which uh, again varies, I think it was 9 up to 12, so 10 is somewhere in the middle. And this is also pretty good to have, there aren't many items which provide you with this option. Right after that we got Tutu Mana after each kill, which uh, is not a lot, but still can help you sustain your mana pool, especially if you kill a lot of monsters uh, at the same time, pretty easily. So, the last option which we have on this one ward is level 18, Summon Spirit Wolves, 30 charges, they're quite expensive actually to replenish, but you can use a trick which I've shown in the channel previously, how to repair and replenish charges uh, for cheap, and this is uh, probably a meat shield, uh, those uh, level 18 summon spirit wolves, they're not gonna do a lot of damage, nor they're probably gonna tank a lot of you, for you either, because they're quite weak, but still for a meat shield, uh, if you want to use them, you can, it's not something which I'm interested in. Now let's uh, discuss uh, which uh, heroes can benefit from this uh, specific reward. So you can use it on a lightning type of sorcerers, you can use it on mercenaries, uh, you can make it in axe to extract a much higher damage output from the weapon itself. You can use it on barbarians, it works quite effectively for the static field, it uh, really helps you, it adds that uh, AoE effect which normally the Barbarian lacks. And also the next uh, target which, uh, sorry, the next character which benefits uh, quite a lot from this is gonna be the budget version of the Holy Shock Paladin, or the Tesladin as the people know it. So because of the minus 35% enemy lightning resistance, this can increase dramatically your damage output uh, if you happen to be Tesladin. And me playing uh, specifically this character this second ladder season, this is a very good uh, upgrade for my character, especially coming from me using a spirit sword. So I'm gonna put uh, my new weapon and this is a very strong and very nice upgrade for my character at this point. So. Having those uh, minus 35% enemy lightning resistance is gonna help me dramatically with my lightning damage output, so especially at later point if I happen to get myself some other items which provide me with similar effects like the grip on eye helmet for example, or maybe socket a few of my items with uh, lightning uh, facet gems being them 5-5. This is gonna help me a lot, and couple that with uh, Lightning Sunder Charm, this can really make a clearing whole monitor of monsters in few aura pulls uh, stacks quite easily, so very enabling uh, item for this character in specific, so quite a strong item, very cheap uh, to make, uh, requiring a um, rune, which is not that high, quite easy to get by, and you get a lot of uh, options in return, if you happen to make this one ward, it works uh, pretty well on Act 5 mercenaries, it works well on barbarians, uh, works especially well on Zealer paladins, as I've already said, uh, you can use it on uh, lightning sorceresses, but uh, they're probably better alternatives than this one ward. And that's gonna bring us to the end of this video, guys, hope you liked it and you've learned something new, and if you happen to do, maybe consider helping the channel, click the like and the subscribe button, stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see you there. Bye!